And welcome to another SH Monster Arts review. Uh, SH Monster introducing SH Monster Arts, a revolutionary new monster action figure series incorporating state of the art SH figure arts technology. Alien vs Predator, Predator Wolf. Uh, judging by his accessories, uh, he is the Predator from AVP2. I actually like that film. I hate the teenagers just like everyone else in that film, but that is why I like that film because most of them get killed by the predator and aliens, of course. Um, if I, all of those who have seen it, do you remember that scene where uh, the predator is running, the, the teenagers are running down the corridor and the predator just throws this disc down the corridor and pretty much pulls the girl up onto the wall, stabbing her there and hanging her there? That was awesome. And, uh,. Oh, that thing about, oh my god, it's so dark and, and evil and sinister. Well, yeah, that's what happens when aliens and predators are around. It gets dark. Face hugging and chest busting a kid and all that. Predator Wolf. Um, very similar style box to the 81. Because instead of green, you got blue. I guess blue isn't really a signature color of the Predator. But uh, I'm not really sure what's going on there. It makes more sense if it was sort of red. But, oh well. It's got that paint splattering effect all over it. Uh, if you want to close look at all the box art instructions and more photos and such, you can head over to the Facebook link below. Uh, underneath, Bandai sticker, Hong Kong version of course. Uh, the Japanese version is an extra 50 something dollars, which is stupid. All the Japanese version is without these stickers and, and that stick on the back. So it's just, just, you know, if I was really careful, I could probably peel the sticker off and sell it off as the Japanese version and get an extra 50 dollars. Idiots. So, uh, yeah, back, oh, hold on. side of the box just carries on, the skeleton thing going on. This side of the box again, all of these are photos of the figure itself, and none of them are in actual photos of the actual predator. Uh, one thing to note is uh, all the fonts, apart from SH Monster, the other font is all uh, the sort of uh, predator alien y kind of font. Oh, you got the back. Uh, let's let's read all of this, stuff, shall we? Let's see if there's any uh, bad English again, just like the alien box, which was hilarious. Okay, so the same stuff on the top. Uh, side there. Okay. Uh, well, I'm gonna have to pick up the box and read it actually, but uh, rendered in meticulous detail and accurate proportion. A portion of the armor has been recreated in die-cast metal while the weaponry is molded in finely detailed ABS plastic PVC has been used to capture the correct look of the body while the framed dreadlocks utilize soft, soft PVC so as not to interfere with posing mm, that's, well it's not really not that bad I guess but uh, sort of odd way like hard to read um, the predator's spear was Replicated in fine detail and accurate proportions to expanding versions are included. Well, that's that's a lie. I think they mean the dual side spear, so it's kind of too expanding, but it's, it's wrong anyway. Uh, expanded and retracted versions of the slash rip are included as well. In addition, the set includes quote unquote acid effects effect. Effect parts should be acid effects part or then you know effect part part when I say parts uh, bracket used in the film for erasing traces of e traces of, of its existence. Oh my god, that's bad. It should be uh, used in the film for erasing traces of alien existence. A cleaner case with various weapons. And a tracking cylinder used in the film for extracting blood samples. Oh, this is terrible. Uh, interchangeable head parts. Part. There's only one head in here. Well, it's two heads, but you need to take that. For portrayal of Predator with mask removed, revealing its grotesque organic face beneath. Its jaw can be swapped out with various parts to replicate both normal and howling appearances. The wrist cover opens and closes, letting you pose a predator accessing its computer 
and the right hand wrist blade can be exposed and retract. I mean extended and retract. Well, ex exposed is not technically it's not wrong, but again it's weird word choicing. So phew, anywho. Uh, let's get the sucker open. Uh, just like other Monster Arts, the box flap opens on the top and not the side base, like you know, usual SH figures. By the way, anyone else excited with the uh, Figma Silent Hill figures and, Aven and Avengers? So, uh, oh, box out the way. Uh, since this is a Hong Kong version, it comes with a survey guide, which I'm going to do the survey and hopefully win something, but you never do. Uh, here's the advert pamphlet for the big chap alien, the alien from the first alien movie that's been dubbed by fans, the a big chap, uh, so it, I guess it's become the official name now. And uh, another predator down there, this is the, uh, the heavy armoured version I guess, it comes with these little discs, and uh, which I assume is the predator from uh, AVP1, I think. Uh, yeah, from the picture it doesn't look too different, he's just got um, different accessories, so uh, I sure hope that the actual Predator when it comes out is going to be a little bit different. Uh, depending on what accessories come with the big chap, I might be ignoring him, because if he comes with a face hugger, then I'll pick him up. If not, I'm going to ignore that next alien. And then, of course, you have the instructions manual. Ooh, all white and stuff. Again, I'll be taking photos of this as well. Uh, let's unfold this a little bit better, and there we go. <coughs> uh, a lot easier to read since it's all white and stuff from this distance. Uh, so on the hands, you got uh, hands assembly: left, left arm, right arm. For for spear, short, long. For cylinder, for acid effects part, for whip. For spear, short, long. Uh, interchangeable face parts. Head assembly, interchangeable head parts. How to open the panel on left arm, or you just flap it open. Blade assembly, inter interchangeable blade, interchangeable hand parts, cylinder. How to attach whip, short. How to attach acid effects part. Bad English again. Same issue here. The attachment and detachment method of back mounted arm armaments and uh, back mounted armaments movement, accessory parts, and um, I'm going to read the bottom there. Uh, please handle with care and store out of reach of children younger than 15 years old. This product may contain sport may contain small parts. Well, it does contain small parts. Thank you. May be harmful if swallowed. This product may contain parts that have sharp points and edges. Please handle it care. Why is it may contain? Surely you know. You made this figure. Do not place this product on top of plastic furniture, silver sheet, tile, or anything made of resin. It may cause color migration. Color style and decoration may vary. Please do not use excessive force when bending, pulling, or attaching movable parts. So, again, it's not as funny as uh, the alien figure, but uh, it's pretty hilarious. Well, kind of, I guess. Yes, it's okay. Uh, so, first thing you might notice is that there is no uh, stage act to hold the figure up, but uh, you go get. Uh, since it's such a big figure and there's a lot of stuff inside, I'm gonna forgive it. Uh, first, you have this tray which has the spear and the, uh, the whip. Time to put the camera. Down, zoom, and uh, so first you got the spear, which looks pretty nice, and the long spear as well. These these are good pieces. Uh, I do have to note that the spear is see this bit is kind of soft, but uh, be careful. It's quite pointy, a lot of pointy edges, so it's it's a bit nasty. Uh, but uh, yeah, it feels. Slightly durable, so uh, don't worry too much, but still handle with care because uh, you don't want the thing to snap and break now, do you? Shop spear is the same, but of course, a lot. Got this little hole to pick into the back, and uh, but the rest of it is pretty samey. 
loving the fine little details right there. And then you have this sort of whip, chain whip thing, very soft plastic. Maybe a bit too soft. Uh, not too sharp here, so it's okay. You've got the handle, which is neat. Okay, that's a fine detail. And uh, this is actually attached on a rotating joint, so uh, even though this is, you know, the piece is set in a certain shape, you can uh, rotate it depending on the pose and the camera angle, which is very useful. And I'm glad they've uh, put, they put that extra joint there. It's like the tiny details don't matter, really. And <coughs> finally, you have uh, the tray of the figure itself. So, of course, the new SHF style boxes, so the flap is on the other top. Uh, I'm going to have to Stop saying that in every reviewer because this is a standard type of box these days. <clears throat> you can see uh, stuff already bouncing all over the place. Even closing this box, uh, stuff bounces around. So uh, that's something to be mindful of. So uh, yeah, I touched on the Predator already. It's the fist hands. So we'll look at him later. And the closed jaws. <clears throat> Time to zoom in on the accessories again. Let's get more light. So uh, you got the, the closed whip, uh, made of slightly more harder plastic. Well, it still feels soft-ish. Again, uh, the detail is pretty nice. Just got a peg right there to peg into the belt. Put some back in there. I uh, got these two blades here, which uh, detach and attach onto the arm just by pulling out and pushing in. Got the acid effect parts. The uh, mouth open bits, which I'll be taking photos of these, of course, with uh, the pet crying. Not not crying, but you know, calling, crying. Like, oh, I guess, well, I can't do a signature sound. It's alien, I can't do it. Got the gun, which is pretty cool. Although, uh, that's a very small joint, so uh, you be careful. Um, not too sharp, it's not really poking me too much. I mean, I wouldn't check this at someone's eye, but uh, you know, it's, it's okay. Uh, by the way, there was a plastic sheet on the back between the uh, hip, the, the hip cloth, and the back of the legs. And you see, I got all these hands are doing holding different items and doing different poses. You got display open hands. You got the spear holding hands. You got the effect parts holding hands, and you know, other hands. And of course, finally, you have the uh, no. Nope, there goes those parts falling out. The extra helmet head. And just like the box says, all of these are individually soft pieces of plastic. It always keeps uh, making me think that the Predator is Jamaican or something because of you know the hair, the uh, like dreadlocks and such. Can you imagine the Predator just on the beach somewhere, like just, you know having Jamaican music and Jamaican food? It's funny. Really nice scope of the head. It's uh, excellent. Uh, although I can tell you right now that topping heads is actually a pain, but let's move on to the articulation. Hello, Mr. Predator. Alright, so, uh, <clears throat> by the way, this piece keeps falling off. I'm just going to take that off now. Uh, let's go with the head. Uh, well, because of his hair, up, down, oh, there goes his jaws, I'm going to pull them off because they're just going to keep falling off. Uh, there is full 360 degrees turn, but uh, it's a bit tight because of the predator, it's a weird head shape. <laughs> uh, necklace is actually its own piece which is cool, so is this belt, this weapons belt. Uh, apparently some of these are die cast metal, but I'm not sure. Oh, okay, die cast metal are these two bits. Uh, is that die cast? No, that's not. Yes, yes, that is. That armor piece is. Uh, this one isn't. This is plastic. So this piece and these two pieces. Uh, it's just odd. Why? Why those two? But anyway, uh, body articulation. You got the double joint there. There. Sideways, sideways, and full 360 degrees rotation. And now I've messed up the torso. Because <laughs> uh, now his, the back of his lower body is facing the front of the body. 
There we go, fixed. Uh, arm goes up. Full, oh, whoops. Full rotation. The armor piece is on a little ball peg. I can't find the ball peg. Uh, what the hell is it? No, oh, right here, it's right there. Uh, swivel here, double elbow joint, and there goes the bloody piece again. He's got so much stuff going on his body that uh, this is to ex be expected with SH figure with too much stuff. Not as bad as Ryuki, you can see the review of that figure, but they're still pretty messy. Uh, rotating ball joint and swivel on the hand. There's actually an extra piece there on the joint to give it more articulation, and you know, while obscuring the joint. Uh, this is articulation, I guess, opening this flap. On the back, you've got the cannon, which uh, can come up, of course, and it also rotates, which is important, and it does. This hip cloth thing is its own piece, soft rubber, which is good. Um, leg can come down a little bit. It's actually a pretty standard. Uh, that's if got leg system. So you got the side swivel here, swivel there, double knee joint, and at the bottom the foot is does have a toe joint, very little toe movement because of the shape of the feet. Uh, it is, I'm pretty sure it's on some sort of ball joint because it can move quite a fair amount, but uh, again, the feet is so bulky that it's too hard to move too much but uh, yeah so that's the uh, <sighs> articulation molding wise the predator wolf is pretty much perfect there's no I can't see any plastic injection lines anywhere in fact most of these pieces are, feel like or look like they were molded as a single piece apart from where the joints are there are no lines anywhere on the figure cutting up the uh, style and look and the design so that's really good uh, other plus sides on the molding is this insane amount of detail on the legs especially the hair where each tentacle is individually uh, molded which is pretty good it's not just one big chunk of solid piece on the back and that's that's really really cool that's probably the coolest part of the figure in terms of design um, I like how the uh, waist hip strap is its own piece the skulls on his necklace is its own piece and the little uh, acid effect parts uh, strap on his body is also its own piece those are really cool in terms of accessories, uh, again, this figure feels well. There's a lot of accessories going for it. Even though without a stage, he can stand pretty well on its own, on his own. And uh, he has uh, a lot more accessories than the alien. That was a terrible, terrible release in terms of accessories. However, he still feels lacking. Like this. Remember, this is not the Predator from the Predator movies. This is the Predator from AVP. And because of that, he comes with AVP accessories, which isn't the first things you think about when you think Predator. When you think Predator, you're most likely going to think uh, the disc, the uh, the medical kit that he uses to stab himself and he cries in pain, that sort of stuff, or the uh, uh, some other random weapons he uses. However, here you got this tail whip thing and this spear, which, well, yeah, they're cool, but... Uh, they're not, they don't scream Predator right away. So if you're a Predator fan on its own, then the accessories might be disappointing to you because you're expecting accessories from the classic Predator movies and not the AVP movies. However, if you enjoy the AVP stuff, then you know this is still pretty good. Uh, <clears throat> Paint-wise, this figure again is it's very good. Uh, I can't really find any faults with the paint aside from uh, well, one eye is slightly more blue, one eye is slightly more orange. But uh, I, I honestly can't tell if that's on purpose or not. It's like, he's like a cat, he's got different colored eyes. Yeah. 
Uh, speak accessories, uh, the bits that I do hate is the mouth bits. Those fall off far too easily. And the other one that falls off far too easily is the medical pack on the back of the Predator. That just pops off anytime. So if you're posing him with those parts, those parts that go on last. Like after you put him in the position that you want, then you pop on those parts. Uh, you can probably use a bit of blue tack to secure it, but uh, if they make another batch of these Predator figures, they better fix that. That's a really annoying issue. Especially if you're going to pose him on a shelf. Uh, if he's not behind a glass shelf, glass cupboard, cabinet, anything, if he's not inside a cabinet, you got to make sure you put a bit of blue tack uh, tack in those joints because uh, you might come home one day and he's missing one of his jaw pieces and you can't find it because, let's be honest, these are also really small parts and we don't want small parts falling off. Uh, the dark cast metal seems uh, cool but utterly pointless just to raise the price of the figure maybe that look, there's a piece of metal in here but uh, it's not like it's die cast feet where it's useful in posing the character, it's just... Oh, here are three, three different plates that are die cast. Uh, they look no different than the plastic parts of the armor, so... Uh, yeah, sure, it's cool that this piece of armor is actually metal armor, but since it looks nothing... Uh, doesn't look different at all to the plastic, you could have made this figure cheaper and not have those metal parts at all, because... They, don't, they just don't do anything, it's pointless, they don't, they don't secure the figure in any extra way than, than any of the other parts. Whew, uh, yeah, Predator is a solid figure, even if you're not a fan of AVP but you're a fan of Predator just on its own, this is still probably one of the best Predator figures that you can get. Uh, in terms of price, of course, it's, it's pretty much double the amount of uh, the, the McFarlane toys, I think you know, the, the usual Predator toy line. Because uh, for, for Arnold and the Predator, uh, the scale that's slightly bigger, you can you can get that for, what, two, 200, 240? And for this Predator on his own, he's 350 Hong Kong. And, uh, God knows what the price is, including shipping overseas. Because uh, this isn't a light figure, the box is pretty big, so I imagine shipping is pretty hefty. Uh, just trying to think. Other things to note is the swapping head is a pain. The bore socket in the helmet head is really, really tight. Uh, <coughs> so that, was, that took ages to put on the first time I tried it. And uh, another thing is because the necklace is its own loose piece, it sort of keeps. It's hard to put strength on the torso without pushing that necklace out of the way and popping that off as well. So swapping the heads can be really, really annoying. <coughs> But uh, that, that's it really, uh, it's it's a really good Predator figure and I'm glad I picked it up. Uh, I, I hope the next Predator looks different and it's not just the same figure package with, with different accessories. If that's the case I won't pick it up because that's just trolling with me. But uh, if the next Predator comes with really cool accessories from the original Predator movies or something cool like an alien skull, that would be awesome. Uh, that will be a definite pickup for me as well. So uh, can't wait for the Injustice stuff so we can finally make animated figures of Batman vs. Predator. Awesome. Uh, speaking of which, uh, SF Figures is also uh, releasing uh, the girl from the Ring series. Uh, you know, it comes out of the TV. A uh, white skin version of Michael Jackson. Figma has the filler versions of black skin. So you got like before and after Michael Jackson. You can see like the Predator and become white because you're scared and such. Ha 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 ha. Uh, there's also a Figma Avengers, those are coming out, so so I mean just think of all the different kind of figures we have in this scale and that has good articulation because from Bandai and Figma and all that. Rebel Tech, not so much, let's not talk about those ever again. So I uh, think of all the crossover uh, abilities, you got uh, Justice League, Avengers, AVP, The Ring, Michael Jackson, Kamen Rider, Super Sentai or you know Power Rangers. Uh, there's, there's so so much going on. You got uh, Pokemon, uh, King of Fighters, uh, Tiger and Bunny, uh, Cure, Pretty Cure, uh, Mario. Mario's coming out. So uh, that's that's a lot of crossovers. Uh, there's Bruce Lee, Indiana Jones, uh, Metroid. Uh, you know, Link from Zelda. So, so yeah, and uh, the Black series is kind of in the same scale, but let's not talk about those as well again, ever again, because they suck ass. So uh, yeah, it's it's pretty pretty awesome and cool. Uh, so yeah, uh, subscribe just going below. Tell me what you think of this figure. Are you gonna pick one up? I, I like I said, it might be. This is a really awesome, bulky, big 
strong figure. Uh, subscribe to just go below and take care and have a nice day. Bye.